hi guys is dio here again with another video so today i'm going to be showing you how to make minimalistic um, paintings using iArtbook so iArtbook is a software a free software you can go and download it if you have an ipad so just click on the photo section it's going to refer you to your gallery then you select any image you want to use so after selecting the image it's going to um, display the canvas um, for you so if you are familiar with procreate this um software is more like a like procreate but it's a bit different but if you are conversant with how procreate works with the shortcuts and the rest you can work with this so all i'm going to be doing is tapping on the plus sign and adding a new layer then tap on the layer one to reduce opacity and then i reduced opacity to um maybe 65 then or you can leave it at 70 just make sure you can see the image that you are going to trace so all i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be selecting a black color then go to the top um section of the brush and, re and select a realistic pencil after selecting a realistic pencil then I select I make sure my opacity is 100% and the size of my brush should be 5.3 you can leave it at 5.0 whatever size that you prefer then you can um, check the you can just go through the section of those options of um, the app you can just go through the um, options of the app to see um, what, what options it gives you can go and you can even turn on this uh, video recording just for you to um, record your process i'm going to be doing an in-depth tutorial on how to use this software but for now i'm going to just use it as the normal way i use whatever software i'm going to use so you can just add a new layer add a new layer make sure you select your pencil or whatever pencil you you feel like using you can just select these are the brushes there are so many brushes on this software just feel free to use whatever brush you are for, um, conversant with but i'm going to be selecting the thick pencil under the section of the realistic pencil so i'm going to be using the thick pencil to trace over but uh, you can also get a nice pencil in the uh, line with delay um, section you can just pick the tick line and if you like you can also go to the realistic pencil pencil section to pick a better pencil for your line art so just do well to select a better pencil for your line art whatever whatever pencil you prefer you can just select it there are so many options over there you can just feel free to select it and the brushes are free are free as well so all I'm going to be doing is just to gently trace over my hair and make sure your layer, uh, um, the you have you have added a new layer on the top of your reference. So you gently trace over the hair, then make sure the lines are connected to each other. Just gently trace over the hair here. Make sure. Um, the opacity of your layer is 100% gently trace over the hair just do exactly what I'm doing you can get this reference in the description section uh, I'm going to be dropping links to download this particular reference I got this reference by the way in Pinterest on Pinterest so you can also get it on Pinterest you can also download it via the link in the description section so yeah just make sure you trace it um gently and make sure um your lines are it mustn't be perfectly straight but make sure your lines are confident enough then make sure the lines are connected to each other do not leave space um do not leave leave space between the lines just make sure the lines are connected Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And when you make your money, make sure.
sure you don't spend it too soon. Huh. Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do. I got a different path from everyone in that. So after you're done with that, you can just tab on the layer section, then add a new layer, then you can um, take away the visibility of the second layer then so that you don't get confused all we are going to do is we are going to be outlining the skin alone we are going to be outlining the skin alone i tried using the liquify tool on this software but it wasn't available it was asking me for uh, um for for me to it was asking me to like watch an art before i can assess the the liquify tool or you can as well get a pro version of this software so that you can have access with um liquify tool and some um professional um tools as well in this app but i am very much comfortable using this app without the pro version so yeah you can as well use this app comfortably without the pro version but if you want to get some other um a pro version um options you can just uh, click on watch ads and watch so, um, the ads then it's going to unlock the options for you so i'm making the lashes um i'm giving the lashes um more detail compared to the rest of the fees and the rest of the body so i think the lashes the lashes are the only um place that we are going to give so much detail instead of just giving um same silhouette as the rest of the body so yeah i'm going to like trace over the mouth as well just to like get the whole silhouette of the mouth yeah so all you need to do is just to trace over the mouth and make sure the lines are connected to each other then after doing that you make sure your lines are connected to each other so that whenever you are going to fill up the line art is going to fill up perfectly but when you are leaving um, space um, between the lines yeah it's not going to like it's not going to fill up perfectly so we are going to first of all start filling up the hair so i'm going to be selecting the fill tool i'm going to be selecting the fill tool uh, which is found at the um at that's at the top of the smudge uh, option but before then you have to arrange your um, sketch into um, this format so first is the hair then the lip then the eyebrow then the body line art so so that when you are um, going to fill up the silhouette is going to like build upon each other so yeah that's all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be selecting a um, skin color skin tone for the body so for the body so we are going to select the three dots at the top of the smudge option the there are more options that are going to pop up then you click on the bucket tool which is also the fill tool so when you click on the bucket so make sure the consider all the uh, um, option is turned off or if you if you want to turn it on too as well it's helpful sometimes so you can turn it up but uh, for this um for this situation we are not going to use the consider all layer because we have already connected our line arts to each other but i'm just trying to show you that the difference if you are going to uh, leave the consider all layer check mark uh, is going to only fill up the areas in which um like it's going to consider compile all the la the lines all together on the layer is going to consider where the lines are connected to each other then just fill it up um it, uh, based on the calculation of the whole layer but if you are going to turn the uh, check mark off uh, that's the the consider all layer check mark off then that particular layer is going to be considered alone 
without considering the whole entire layer so i don't know whether you understand me but yeah you can experiment after you've done some sketches you can experiment on that option as well so yeah i'm trying to fill up the skin tone i've already filled up the hair i'm trying to like fill up the uh, skin tone as well i'm still using my bucket to, to, to just fill it up just, that's the easiest way you can also use your uh, paint brush to just fill it up using a brush but i'm just trying to for beginners i'm just trying to show you how to use the fill the bucket tool as well so we can go to the um hair and fill up some empty spaces in which are not filled up perfectly so you can just fill it up with your brush just fill up all the areas in which are not filled up um well so yeah i'm just trying to like fill them just for it to look nice so we are done with the silhouette of the hair and let's go next to the silhouette the silhouette of the mouth or let's say the lip so i'm going to just fill it up with a solid black layer and um, black color sorry then we are going to be altering the black color with uh, a purple color or maybe less a dark purple or something like that just give it uh, your preferred color um, to the lip just use the bucket tool and fill it up you can also make sure you bring out the line out in between the lips separating the lip into two just to indicate that it's actually a lip not just giving it more um, information and yeah for it to look more of a lip uh, than just a silhouette of um, yeah so that's instead of living like this is preferable that you use your pencil to like just uh, identify that there is a uh, breakage in between two uh, the upper lip and the lower lip so yeah you just identify the lip you can lower the opacity of your lip silhouette then you can trace over um, the reference once more again so as to get the perfect um, shape of the lip so after you're done with that you can just make sure you um, also give the lip um, a bit of um, if you if you some some people uh, uh, prefer leaving their lips flat like this but if you want to um, divide the lip into two different colors which is very much um, very much um, um, uh, common nowadays females do um, separate their lips color into two so you can do that as well and yeah you can just do whatever you want to do just make sure you don't give it too much detail because we are just doing a minimalistic um, painting which requires little details just little or no details just make sure of silhouettes and just make sure you just simplify everything into um, simple shapes so yeah that's what we're going for so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting our pencil as well or any brush that we want and just make sure we add a new layer below our silhouette of our body silhouette then make sure you add uh, the size of the brush then fill up the silhouette of the clothes perfectly make sure the layer is below the body silhouette so after you're done with that then you can move on with um, the hair and turning the hair color into white we can just keep the reference by the side to see how the hair is and how to give the hair a bit of details and yeah so just in case you are not using um, an ipad you can still um split the screen into two to see how the hair is and how i am going to use um the reference to give a bit of um simplification on the hair so what what we're going to be doing now 
is we are going to be selecting before we proceed to the hair we are going to be selecting um, a lighter skin tone a lighter and desaturated skin tone um, for this particular art minimalistic art so as you can see based on the kind of color grading the photographer did on this um, lady she her skin tone was somehow desaturated so it wasn't too saturated it was just desaturated so we are going for that desaturated color instead of going um, saturated so after doing that make sure you add a new layer on the top of your body layer then clip it to uh, clip it below uh, make sure you you turn on the clipping mask um clipping max is available on autodex sketchbook and every i think every drawing software you may use to follow all of this tutorial so you can use any of the clipping max make sure the layer is at the top of your body layer so that whatever you're going to be painting is going to be within the body layer so it's going to go, it's not going to go outside of the body layer so as to keep your work very neat so this is what i'm going to do i'm trying to add a bit of um shadow to the silhouette so as to um indicate that um there are some features like just to indicate that she's a lady and um, giving some bit of um, um, facial features and the rest and body features as well um, so just to give a little bit of structure on the body just for not um, avoiding the body not to look like totally flat and yeah so um, I would advise you to like just add a bit of shadow uh, on the body just to as just like give a bit of dimension or let's say um, structure to the body and yeah to make it look more like a human being and not just a shape of silhouette so after you're done with that you can just um, proceed to uh, giving a bit of details to the cheekbone but I it's not it's not uh, a must some give um, details to the cheekbone some don't even touch the face at all so it's uh, my personal choice that I uh, decided to uh, touch the face a little bit with a bit of contour and yeah just to like uh, give it a bit of uniqueness so but if some people just prefer to leave the face flat so it's up to you really so up next we are going to be changing the color of the hair we're going to be changing the hair color into a white color or let's say a bit of gray or because um, her hair um, here is her hair is not looking white um, overly white so we're just going to be selecting a lighter gray color or uh, let's just desaturate the white color a little bit just so it doesn't look purely white so yeah we've done that already so you can use the pocket tool to fill up the hair and then use your brush to um, clean up some darker um, sides of in which they haven't um, perfectly filled up so you can just like clean up some sides that are outrageous and yeah you can just correct some areas that aren't filled up so after you do you are done with that after you're done with that then you can yeah you can add a new layer at the top of the hair layer uh, make sure it's at the top of the hair layer you can also make it um you can make it a uh, clipping max you can make a clipping max on the that particular layer make sure it's at the top of your hair layer then you select a different color uh, maybe uh, let's see a gray color that can serve as a shadow for us to like give uh, a bit of um, let's say a bit of value to the to the hair um, that's like a bit of structure to the hair instead of leaving it flat white you can like add a little bit of detail uh, by the side of the hair just to indicate the shadow uh, area of the hair and 
it's going to look pretty much better um, instead of leaving it flat it's going to look much more better when you add um, the shadows by the side just to, like indicate the uh, values between the um to the values the, on the hair so yeah you can just enjoy the process and i think we are almost done with the tutorial you can decide to add some other features but i think um so far so good we are done with a minimalistic um painting so just in case um this was helpful let me know in the comment section and also um i welcome every one that is new to my channel i welcome the new subscribers i welcome to this family i drop tutorials every month and every week as well sometimes but i do drop every month so welcome to this uh, channel if you haven't subscribed yet do well to subscribe as well and also i'm going to be dropping so many interesting tutorials henceforth i'm also be i'm also going to be dropping an if we spent x tutorial very soon so you guys should uh, turn on the notification um, bell and and make sure you stay active and also for those who are not in my telegram group you can click on the link below in the in the description uh, section to um, join my telegram group and as well if you need my brushes my procreate brush is um, um, totally free you can access it in gumroad and just in case um, you are a procreate user you can access my brushes there and yeah you can also do well to donate and just donate and also give me a shout out whenever you use my brush on instagram you can tag me as well to see your artwork and yeah thank you so much guys for sticking around and watching and also um yeah i'll see you in my next video bye